My TV just told me I've played for three hours already and that I should go out and exercise. The last time I hit a wall this hard was when I first ran my marathon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to France. I was recently promoted to B and I was thinking, what should I do for a celebration? And I couldn't figure it out. And then I looked on Zwift Insider and noticed that there is going to be a Grand Fondo race um, because there is Paris-Roubaix uh, race going on this weekend. And this is um, uh, a race that is basically Zwift's version to celebrate the event. So I thought, why not? 146k. Uh, it's going to be a long way to go. And you know what? 146k is nothing, right? So I decided once I finish the race, I'd go another 15 because I want the jersey for 100 miles. So I don't know how I came up with this plan, but here I am. The good news is, while there is not that many riders doing this, uh, it is a mixed start. So, <clears throat> if my bees drop me, I can ride with C's and D's, and then I won't be able to ride with anyone. <laughs> I don't have any plan in terms of pacing. <laughs> I don't know what to do at all. Since the race is going to take about five hours or something, I will obviously speed up the boring part. In terms of Nutrition, I've got three bottles of sports drink that is full of carbs. I've got my salt pills ready. I've got gummy bears, some uh, fruit bars. I've got dried cranberries. Hopefully it will be enough. After the race, I'm going to make myself buffalo wings as a reward. So let's rejoin the my group. So it's 146 kilometers and 1100 meters of elevation. I'm not racing this for any uh, final position or anything. I think just riding it is challenging enough. And I don't think I need to put myself under more pressure, especially since this is my first race as a B rider. But I'm glad to see that the guys do not rush forward like crazy. Looks like there should be plenty of opportunities to 
ride with someone. There is 57 riders in the race. I obviously didn't expect it to be heavily populated since it's so long. I didn't train for this event at all. And I never rode 160 kilometers. Never. Outside, inside, never. The most I've ridden was, I believe, 140 kilometers. And it was an outside ride around Prague when there was COVID. Uh, we had uh, uh, basically a ban to travel outside the city everyone was living in. Uh, apart from work, you could have traveled for work, but apart from that, you couldn't. You needed a special permission if you wanted to. So I created this channel. Uh, no, no, not this channel. Uh, this challenge where I decided to ride around the border of Prague, Czech Republic. So it would be a long ride and I would still technically never leave the city. And it was about 140 kilometers. And I did that twice. And it, both times it took me the whole day and I was pretty destroyed after that. <laughs> Obviously right now I'm in a better shape, a cycling shape. Uh, I was a runner back there, but that doesn't mean this is going to be easy. So I'm not sure uh, when this video is going to come out. Maybe on Wednesday, last week, next week. Uh, today I released the video about FTP testing and ramp test. And I'm interested in feedback about that video. So if you didn't see that one, uh, as of whenever you are watching this, go take a look at that one and let me know what you think. I love the jerseys of the Rhino team. Next week, I'm going to leave for a holiday for a few days in Dubai. But I'm trying to time my races and the releases in a way that I shouldn't miss a release window. So usually I release my videos on Wednesday and Saturday and that should be covered. So I'm really interested if I can do this challenge under five hours. I could probably use the opportunity that the uh, tempo is slower and I'm not out of breath to talk about the multiple point testing I mentioned in the last video, which I consider the only really correct way to estimate FTP. 
how to do it, how to uh, find find out uh, what your FTP really is based on the data and stuff like that. Basically, if you are using a regression model to estimate FTP, you need to feed the model good data. And usually what riders do is either doing ramp test, that one I covered in the last video, or doing the proper FTP test. So they write either 20 minutes all out or one hour all out and using a formula, they calculate their FTP. But the problem, even of those methods is they don't really take your phenotype into consideration. And this is why I consider the regression model so good, because it does. And what you basically do if you are uh, using multiple point testing is you need to give the model information what you are capable of at various durations. So it needs to know how good is your sprint, how good is your short anaerobic effort, like one to five minutes, your middle top effort, like 12 to 15 minutes, and your longer effort above 20 minutes. And saying that, it probably sounds really painful that you should have be testing all of those durations. And it kind of is at the start. Because what you need to do at the very beginning is establish your power duration curve, which is basically a curve that connects your maximal effort at various durations. So what's generally the best practice is at the start of the season, do a week of testing. And what you do is you basically divide it into three days and you separate them by rest day. On the first day, you are going to do the long effort above 20 minutes. If you feel you are more of a strength-based rider, like a sprinter or puncher, the effort should be longer, maybe above 30 minutes, because you have, your, you have higher anaerobic power and thus you can basically cheat the model more by using your anaerobic power even during longer effort. So you really need longer effort in that case. And I think the best way to do it is a Zwift race. If you do may maybe something like 
I just did recently, Champs Elysees or any other short race, and you do it all out, you have your maximum power for that duration set. If you do it this way, probably try to keep the power as uniform as possible. So you shouldn't really care about you know, drafting or anything. Just set your target and go. After that, you're going to have a rest day. After that, do a testing of short durations. So you can do maybe warm up, two minute max or three minute max, long recovery, maybe half an hour recovery, and then do maximal sprints. Top 10 seconds you can do. After that, have another rest day, and then do third day of medium duration testing. 10, 12 minutes, something like that. And when you do all of these, you can plug those data into a model. You can do it for free or on the website called Intervals ICU. Basically, sync your Strava data over there and they are going to model your power duration curve and FTP for you. And the model usually takes your last 90 days of data. So from time to time, you need to retest. If you are a regular Zwift racer, you don't need to worry really about the long duration. And you can easily do the short and medium testing instead of workouts. Maybe once every two months. Huh? Looks like I'm dropped. And when you do all of this, you have an FTP estimation that is really tailored to you. So I hope there is going to be another group that will catch me. Obviously, I could have chased the group, but the race is so long I really don't want to burn too many matches right from the start. I was speaking about having lack of endurance training lately in one of my earlier videos. I guess this can count as a good endurance ride. It's going to be a long, lonely ride, I believe. 
It would be very nice to do this as a live stream. But so far I didn't took enough time to uh, find out how to do that. The elevation indicator is getting quite confused right now. There is a 8.6 watts per kilo attack in the group in front of me. Why? <laughs> it doesn't look like there will be another group catching me. So I might use the draft to get another power up here. It's very warm in here today. It's 24 degrees centigrade outside. And even though I have my fan on the max settings, it's very, very, very warm in here. So I believe at this point, my best hope is uh, to wait for someone of the group in front of me to leave and join me. There was a quite interesting question in the chat right now. What's your definition of zone two? If it's a power based, or heart rate based. I consider zone two still easy riding, right? It's not the easy, easy, where we are really going recovery pace, but it should be still very easy. And easy means easy. So what that feeling is, is heavily dependent on your current conditions. Whether it is hot outside, whether you slept well, whether you had too much coffee, whether you are under stress, all those influences can really uh, impact your feeling. And heart rate reflects that. So I think you cannot go wrong with Z2 heart rate based training. Because if you do so, you will have guaranteed that you are not going too fast. When you are doing easy rides, it's better to go too slow than too fast, basically. No one still left the group in front of me. So let's take some gummy bears, shall we? 
probably should have opened it before. This is a perfect gummy package because all of them are the purple ones. The sauce for Zwift add-on is really helpful but it makes the game somewhat choppy. Or I should clarify, it's not the add-on that makes the game choppy. It's the fact that you need to have the game in windowed mode to be able to use sauce. And when you do that, you are basically giving Windows control over your uh, frame rates and stuff like that. As you can see, it's not something horrible or that the, uh, basically that it will be unusable, but there is this slight steering or however you want to call it. I'm still looking for a solution or if any one of you knew how to use sauce in full screen mode, that would be perfect. But I don't believe that's possible. So there is nice looking group, yeah. one minute and 38 seconds behind me. It would be nice to join them. I don't want to slow too much for them but right now I'm going definitely in more leisurely pace than I would normally. It feels, it feels to me like the Windows is restricting the game into lower frame rate or anything because the game itself renders at 60 fps as usual i checked that with zwiftalyzer and it's especially noticeable when i'm quickly turning right now as you can see the image is pretty solid but when the switchback starts, you can see the tearing right here. So as I said, this race is a tribute to Paris-Roubaix race that is going on this weekend. Today for the women, tomorrow for the men. I don't know if you saw the course, but the organizers put crazy chicane before the Tour de Arenberg. And their reasoning was, look guys, there are a lot of crashes recently in Peloton and the entrance to the Tour de Arenberg is right below the descent. So we need, we need to slow you down so you do not enter the cobbles at 60 k's an hour. But the way they did that was they put this chicane, which is basically a U-turn 
with very narrow street. I cannot imagine this being safer, but what do I know? One minute and 25 for the next group to catch me. Come on, guys, you can do it. I don't want to ride alone for five hours. I need to change positions on the bike more. My bottom is starting to hurt, which is quite early. I'm interested about how many of the 57 riders will actually finish. Yeah, there is another guy who's adding 16 kilometers for the century. Because when you're riding already 146 kilometers, it would be foolish to not grab that jersey, right? How do I chat in this game anyway? I know you can do it with your phone, but my phone is... Uh, I'm using the phone as a webcam, so I can do that. Can you chat somehow with your keyboard as well? Oh my God, the group behind me is chatting about how now nice their pace is. I need to join them. Let's have some cranberries in the meantime. This is the fun part of the cycling. It enables you to eat unhealthy stuff. They got me. I will have a group to ride with again. Finally.
These slow frame rates are bothering me. I'll need to do something with it. I don't know what. I wouldn't want, want to ditch the sauce. But... This is... Maddening to me.
Looks like we are chasing the only sea guy in front of us. So our sea guy can win his category. Five and a half minutes. Yeah, the pace has definitely increased right now. We are clearly domesticing for <laughs> this guy. Oh, well, that's fun. Why not? Let's do it. I'll take the turn right now. A lot of the guys in front of us quit. Not too long ago, I was 25th in C category, uh, B category, and now I am about 15. One hundred K down. 
61 to go. My TV just told me I've played for three hours already and that I should go out and exercise.
that's it for me. I can't keep up with those guys anymore. Oh my god. My TV wanted to shut down. Yeah, so I couldn't keep up anymore with those guys. And since I want to write even more at the end, which at this point, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to do. I need to take a leisurely play pace. It was very fun riding with that group though. So yeah, here, my lack of endurance training showed and I just couldn't keep up anymore. This finish is going to take forever. But I'm not continuing to for the century. I underestimated how difficult this would be. The last time I hit a wall this heart was when I first ran my marathon. But that was to be expected. I'm grossly underprepared for an event like this. My longest ride in, in the last, so basically since I've been riding on Zivit, it was like 80K. And I did that once, so.
So here comes the final climb of the day. Thank God. So, 1k to go, it's about it for this race. I'm not continuing for the century, guys. I severely underestimated how difficult this is going to be. Uh, I shouldn't have underestimated it because I wasn't training for this. But yeah, the century is for another day and i'm glad i finished this a lot of the guys quit and that's something i won't do hope you enjoyed this if you like this subscribe it means a lot and i'll see you in the next video ciao Oh, yes.